Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. I am here with two of the hottest selling Casio keyboards today. The Casio Privia PXS 3000 at $849 US and the Casio CDPS 350 at $549 US. Now, what do you get for the $300 price difference between these two models? A high luster, nice black finish to this. Also, it has capacitive touch to it, so there's no physical buttons here at all. This kind of appears out of nowhere. It's really great. So, with this one, it's physical buttons, and you've got an LCD over here. It's kind of a nice, decent size so that you can see everything. This one is a graphic LCD. They both have a pitch bend wheel, but this one has two additional knobs here that are assignable. So here is the big difference besides what I just said. Polyphony. Now we all know the higher the number for polyphony, the better it is. This one, the PXS 3000, has a 192 note polyphony. Very respectable. The CDPS 350, that has 64 note polyphony. So you've got three times the polyphony here. I'm not going to go off into an explanation of polyphony, but just know that more is better. They each have 700 tones, and the 700 that are on the CDPS 350 are the exact same ones that are on the CTX series. So that's really cool. But the piano on this one is better. The DSP effects and effects processing and editing is better on this one. You don't really have effects editing here. You do here. Now you have 200 rhythms on these so that you can play your rhythms and accompany yourself with that. And it's really cool. The 200 in each of these are identical, so no problem there. Now as far as connections, this one has an eighth inch TRS audio out. That's for everything. Whether you're going to plug in a headphone to it or you're going to plug in a cable that... Uh, splits into a adapter cable for a couple of other like a couple of quarter inch cables so that you can plug that into your mixer or your amplifier or whatever but you do need special cables for that you also have an audio in also trs eighth inch mini this one this has separate left and right quarter inch outputs so that is more geared towards a professional gigging musician who's going to be plugging into a mixer or a audio interface or front of house or whatever. It's also got two eighth inch mini jacks for headphones. So you can have like student and teacher sitting here, each one with their own pair of headphones so they don't disturb anybody while you're having a lesson. And you can also split the keyboard into two equal parts of 44 so student and teacher have the exact same thing that they're working with. And it also has an 8th inch audio in. Both support Casio's app Cordana Play for Piano, which runs on Android or iOS devices. They both have a five song MIDI recorder, so that's really cool. But the PXS 3000 takes that a little bit further and records directly to a USB thumb drive or a USB stick, yeah, some, something like this. Okay, you plug that in over here and capture your recording directly onto the USB stick as a WAV file. Now this one also has USB playback and it has Bluetooth playback. So if you have a Bluetooth device, you can transmit the audio here and it'll play back through the built-in speakers here. Now, if you have that hooked up to an amplifier from here, then it'll go through that as well. And as far as pedals, both of these can take um, the optional Casio SP34, which is this triple pedal right here. Either one will take this, which is really cool. But in addition, you can hook up an expression pedal to the PXS 3000. You can't do that with the CDPS 350. They both run on batteries. Two hours for the PXS 3000. 
four hours for the CDPS 350. Now, even though they have the exact same size speakers, it's different. It's a different kind of speaker. It's a different kind of amplifier on each. Even though the specs are the same, they're both 8 watts per channel, 16 total. It's a different system with this, much improved. It sounds a lot better on the PXS 3000. You have up to 32 registrations. And on this one, same thing, but with 96 so really cool so that is pretty much the differences in a nutshell there's a lot more but these are the major highlights of the differences between these two models either way you can't go wrong but if you're a gigging musician i'd highly recommend going with the pxs 3000 it's a more pro unit but the cdp s350 it's a lot of fun they're both a lot of fun but this is a great intro keyboard for anybody who wants to get back into piano or wants to start piano. Either of them are great. Piano Man Chuck, hope this has helped you out. Peace out. Thanks for watching.